find another way to stand. Whenever you feel defeated, like you've lost, like it's not working out, and you're, you're seeing yourself as a failure, find another way to stand. If you still love it, if you still love doing this thing that you're doing, you've got a deep passion for it, you have no idea if it's gonna work out or not, but you have to keep going. It's a matter of finding another way to stand. Oprah Winfrey helped me uh, a lot in the early days of my business, and still now, and listen, I've never met her, but her words, her message really inspired me. The first was find another way to stand. I remember her talking about failure. I remember her sharing her stories and it wasn't working out. And she said, I had to keep going. I had to find another way to stand. And those words echoed when I was 19, 20 and I quit on my business partner and nothing was working, right? I mean, I spent all this time, all this effort, all this energy pouring into my business, feeling like a piece of garbage because it wasn't working out because I wasn't having success. I wasn't seeing results. And when I quit on my business partner, the worst day of my life, I just felt lost. I felt lost. I felt like, man, I poured everything into this thing and nothing was working. And I can't believe, I can't believe that I said the words I quit on something that I cared about because that wasn't who I thought I was. It was an identity crisis because I was the guy who figured things out and here I was quitting on something that I cared about. And I cried myself to sleep that night and woke up the next day and told myself, I don't want to live with regret. I have to, I have to do this, but I just have to find a different way to stand. Oprah's message in my ear. I have to find a different way to stand. I love this thing I'm doing. I have to find another way. That's what led me to look for Bill Gates who started Microsoft. I asked myself, you know, who's built a software company before? I learned from that. It was modeling success. Uh, and he did it through partnerships. I got my first partnership deal, $13,500. I felt like a, 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 rich, a rich guy. <laughs> Finally, I had some hope in my business. But it all became because of that little words of wisdom from Oprah in my ear saying, find another way to stand. Find another way to stand. A lot of times it's not going to make sense. What you want to do doesn't make sense. Nobody in your family's done it before. Nobody around you has done it before. You didn't go to school for this. It's crazy. You, you're a weird duck. Your parents, your family, the people around you think you're a weird duck. And when you start to doubt yourself and feel like, oh, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. It's really hard to stay motivated, to be the only person around you who believes in what you're doing. It's why I make this content, because I, I want to try to inject you with a little bit of daily belief in yourself to help you realize that you're not alone too. You know, that there's other people out there who are doing things just like you and that it's possible because we're taking our, our, our messages, our, our advice from people who haven't done the thing that we want to do. We're taking advice and wisdom from people who maybe not even maybe, they don't like their lives. Like look at the people who are judging you for the things that you're doing and telling you to be safe and be practical and not follow your dreams. Do they like their life? Probably not. Because most people wake up and drive to a job that they hate. So why are we listening to them? Because we have our own self-doubt. Because it's not working out. Because we don't know if we have what it takes. Find a different way to stand. If you're just keep beating your head against the same door, find a different way to stand. This was me for, you know, the first year of my business, right? I thought I had to come up with every idea myself. Uh, I was too embarrassed and ashamed to ask for help. I struggled every day. I woke up, drove to my business partner's apartment, worked from his dining room table, and then went home and slept. That was every day, right? Every day, woke up, made my bean salad for lunch, drove to his apartment, drove home, went to sleep. Uh, I spent no time with friends. I didn't have a relationship. Um, that's what I did every day. And basically pounded my head against the table every day <laughs> with nothing working out. And then realized through Oprah's wisdom of find another way to stand. If you love doing this thing, you can't quit. You can't give up. You have to keep going. But doesn't mean just keep going doing the same thing. Find another way to stand. And for me, it was modeling success and learn from Bill Gates, 
For you, it might be something totally different. But what is real is, if you stop right now and you love it, you will regret it. If you stop right now and it's still a deep passion of yours, you will look back on this moment and wish that you hadn't quit. You may not know what the answer is. I mean, I feel like I tried a million things. You may not know what the answer is yet. Now, if you don't love it, quit, move on. Awesome, right? If you don't love the thing anymore, you should have left a month ago, a year ago, get out of it. But if you love it, if it feels like breathing to you, if you can't imagine a world without it, if you fast forward to your life and recognize that you're gonna spend the next 40 years doing work that you hate for somebody else with expertise that is just way above what you're tapping into, if you imagine that life and use that fear of regret to push you forward, to keep going and have the courage, inspiration and boldness to stay on your path, but just find another way to stand. That can make all the difference. That saved my business. I don't know how long it would have lasted without it. If I didn't ask that important question, uh, I probably would have quit. I mean, I did quit for a day. And if we still didn't find another way to make it happen, I don't know how much longer would have lasted, to be honest. I felt like I had no hope and no inspiration. It wasn't going to work out. I didn't know how to balance both of loving this thing and wanting it to succeed, but having no idea how to make it happen and seeing zero results. So I'm, I'm grateful that I learned that to ask that question from Oprah. And I hope you can too. If you're not seeing the results that you have, you're not seeing the results that you want, but you still love this thing and you know there's something more inside you, just find another way to stand. If you want another Evan Rant video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. People don't lean into their dreams because they're afraid. You're afraid of it not working. You're afraid of people judging you.